Hey, what's up? It's Sina. Thanks for visiting AmpRadio.com. And just off, literally, like minutes off of our VMA Switch Party stage, I have Lloyd. How are you feeling? How'd you feel about that performance? I feel good. Um, first time I ever performed the new music in uh, Los Angeles, California. Um, a lot of really enthusiastic listeners uh, showed up today. In, a lot of ladies. In the midst of VMA. So it just feels good to connect with my, my, my West Coast fans and... Uh, introduce them to something new so i mean this is my first time seeing you perform i did try to go see you for the i am still music tour but i had to work right. so i was not able to go but amazing amazing show by the way um incredible yeah. so that's gonna be like a traveling circus that's what i imagine Greatest show on earth we got uh fire breathing dragons <laughs> uh, midgets on pogo sticks do you like juggle knives or anything like that i juggle hearts Oh, I see. I like that answer. Um, well, what's it like? Do you like uh, performing at a little venue like this or no, on, you know, on tour? Actually, uh, actually, I prefer uh, things more intimate like this because I can actually touch fans. Uh, I can see their facial expressions. I can. It's more of a connection like mm -hmm. what we talked about earlier. Um, you know, and really any, any place with a stage or a space uh, where I can just uh, sing and dance and go crazy is is good, you know? You did go crazy. You're a hell of a performer. I really enjoyed it. But I like how you mentioned facial expressions because I had my own facial expression because I was not expecting you to perform the original version for dedication to my ex. Oh. So I have so many questions because about that. But I'll let you playing uh, the radio version, correct? Yeah, I'm pretty oh. sure that you can't, say, you can't say pussy on the radio. Uh, not not since the last time that I checked. No, oh. that That's sucks. It sucks. Yeah. Too bad. Um, but anybody that can go online can see the original version. I heard you filmed the music video for that too, right? Yeah, recently, um, just about an hour from here, me and Brian Barber, incredible director. Uh, did a lot of Outcast videos. Did Hey Ya for uh, Andre 3000. Di yeah. Directed Idle Wild. Amazing, amazing um, theme director. And the theme obviously sounds like the 60s. So mm -hmm. everyone uh, was in their best 1965 attire. And uh, it was a bit of a, a battle of the garage bands. Uh, my band was like the quintessential soul black James Brown kind of vibe. And then our rival band was the all white uh, Grease Lightning kind of rock band, you know. So I um, had a great time doing that and uh, expect to see it soon. Well, we'll be excited to see that for sure. But since you can use the P word, which I can't, I can't, even if I tried, I can't say it, but I, sure I'm allowed to say balls then, right? So you have the balls to perform a song like that. Like, does it feel weird or do you like surprising or shocking people? No, I think that is 2011 and um, people are different. I mean, all over the world, obviously. Um, there's two types of girls, you know, there's the uh, shy, coy girl of, you know, yesterday. And then Those are the ones you have to be careful. And then there's the aggressive, right, and then there's the aggressive, more open, you know, um, openly to discuss sex and a little bit more vulgar kind of girl of, of today. Is that your type? Well, I like all girls, you know, <laughs> and, and if you listen to my album, King of Hearts, there's a little bit of both, mm -hmm. you know. Um, we go back and forth. Um, obviously, this song is the most... Uh, dangerous, vulgar, but it's it's fun, you know. Yeah, there there definitely is a variety in your album, which is out now. It came out in July. Um, is that your favorite track off of the album, or do you have something else that's that's your favorite? Um, well, it, it varies. You know, it's it's one of my favorites, um, but it's in close competition uh, with the song called "World Cry," which is at the the last song on the album, featuring R. Kelly and Carrie Hilson and K. Nine. Yeah, and you have other people like Chris Brown's on your album, Trey Songs is on your album. Chris Brown, Trey Songs, Young Jeezy, Game, the game <laughs> uh, opens up the album. Uh, and most of your songs are, I mean, obviously they're going to be about love. Like, I don't even need to ask you what inspired it because it's called King of Hearts. Mm -hmm. And two of your past albums have the word love in them. I did my research. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> so have you always been a ladies man or is that just a topic that's easy for you to sing about well, you know i was gonna name the album um love never dies uh but do you believe that well andrew lloyd weber already used it so I, I couldn't use it i do believe that uh it never really dies um and that's the beauty about it is 
you know, especially in the beginning, um, it always feels really optimistic. Like uh, it could last forever, you know, and even after it may uh, end briefly, you still always have a piece of that person with you. So it never really all the way. Sometimes I wish I didn't have the piece of that person. Because you're not in love with someone doesn't mean you don't still have love for that person. So yeah, I don't think love ever really dies, especially when it's real and it's, and it's genuine. And um, yeah, we, we attack a lot of subjects about love, about lust, about all the wonderful things uh, that goes into being a 25 year old single, um, you know, God. So you're a single guy. Yeah, totally. You have, I swear my Twitter just totally blew up when I said that I was interviewing you. And it's just all ladies. So I'm sure they're going to be happy to know that you're single. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm single <laughs> and uh, I'm ready to mingle. Yeah. Like a casting call right here. Um, so I do have to ask also, because, I mean, you mentioned that the tour is kind of like a circus. But the reason why I said that is because... Carrie Hilson, Rick Ross, you, Far East Movement, and Lil Wayne, of course. There has to be like backstage moments or moments on tour that, you know, maybe something that you can let us in on, maybe a joke or something. Yeah, no, totally. Um, well, Wes, uh, obviously. Uh, <laughs> I can see him over there. He's laughing already. Uh, the joke amongst us is Wes's Play Doh face because his face looks like Play Doh. <laughs> and. <laughs> Uh, my tattoo artist Trey. The joke with him is he looks like T Streets because they both have <laughs> they both have these mohawks going on. Uh, I fell off my bike uh, before the Irvine show. And I did. I saw that. You know what? Up all my legs and uh, dirtied up all my show clothes, so I had to run back, change, uh, and perform with a, a hurt leg, and then, um, I got, I actually got a Twitter question from a listener, and she, Envy Mimi said, can you kiss Lloyd, because I want to know what happened when he fell off his bike. She's from your, she's from your neck of the woods, yeah. uh, the bay. Oh, yeah, you, you know her, you follow all your people she, on Twitter? She's, uh, she's a big supporter, yeah, and, uh, we had some off time the other day in Denver, so uh, we had a big water fight with all of Wayne's background dancers, all the girls, and, and uh, me and Big Mac kidnapped some of them and uh, threw them in a the shower full of cold water and wet them up with water guns and held them hostage, and we made ransom videos and sent, <laughs> and sent them to the other girls and stuff. So you're having a good time. Well, I mean, that's what makes um, this job so wonderful is that uh, even when um, the work is stressful and demanding and... You know, you have to work long hours, you know. Um, it's and you're really a hard awesome. worker. You put on, like, all of your energies in that show, really. Well, I try to put all my energy into everything I do. I think that um, that's when you reach your full potential, and that's what people come to see. That's why they spend their hard-earned money is to see uh, everything you got, so. Well, we saw everything we got tonight, and we'll have the videos of Lloyd's performance at ampradio.com, and I, we hope to see you soon. And best smile I've ever seen, by the way. Just letting you know. Thank you. <laughs>